good start. Today we're heading out to revisit Horsetail Falls. We're gonna go back up there and see if we can find Matt's iPod that he lost the last time, which was almost exactly three and a half months ago. So hopefully the water's gonna be down a lot more and we're gonna see if we can find that iPod. Kind of seems impossible and humanized, but we know with God, all things are possible. So let's see if we can find that thing. Sounds like we're on a uh, Indiana Jones Raiders of the Lost iPod, iPod, iPod. It's a perfect time to go through our reading for tomorrow night for our Bible study at church going through the Believe Story. Chapter 6, Church. Key question, how will God accomplish His plan? Key idea, I believe the church is God's primary way to accomplish His purposes on earth. Key verse, speak the truth in love. We will grow to become in every respect the mature body of Him who is the head, that is Christ. Ephesians 4.15 Very cool guys, we are on the trail. Back at Horsetail Falls, just beautiful around here. We've been here this year already, but beautiful place, cool trail. This time we're just going to kind of try to get up there where we think Matt might have lost his iPod. So we're not really going to take the scenic route on the way up this time. We're just going to try to get up there and then kind of enjoy things. So that was kind of cool. We um, just met some people that a couple of them live maybe 10 minutes from where we do but they had some friends up that they were showing around that are from Austria and England. So we just met some people from Austria and England. Pretty wild. I'm not sure. I'm still trying to navigate and understand the, um, the unschooling. In homeschool, there's lots of different teaching styles and different ways to go about it. And I've been hearing about unschooling. And this year has been a different year for us. We decided to go into unit studies and we've been doing that and that's been going well. But there's also been a time where <laughs> I would think that maybe we aren't doing schooling, but then I watch and I look back at what Matt has done during the day and he's picked up a book and he's read it on his own and been excited about that. He started journaling this year, and so he's been writing a lot of things he's experiencing, things he's seeing, things he's feeling, things he's doing, and um, just really seeing this like open up. And I, I think that's the unschooling process, and so he's enjoying himself, and um, that is so awesome. That, learning the things that he needs yeah, to learn. Yeah, learning the things, learning to write, practice handwriting, and learning to read, and learning new words. And, and, yes, and yes. if I need to learn a word, it's not like I go to school and write down a bunch of words I don't need to learn. I go and ask mom, how do I spell this word? And I remember it. Yeah. And I spell that word that way. You get for the spelling, rest of my huh? Life. Sweet. Yeah. It seems like that is, like, when there's an environment that allows the freedom to learn and explore, it seems like it just naturally happens. I love that, it was so cool. And here he is taking notes on our horsetail hike, horsetail falls hike. Right. right now I think we're at about 6,100 feet and I think it's actually warmer here than it was down there this morning because the marine layer's blowing in down there, so it's cooled off quite a bit, but it feels great here. The high is supposed to be around 76. Very nice. No, I'm really surprised there's still quite a bit of water here. I didn't think there would be this much. I thought there might be some, but it's still going fairly good.
We just did a periscope over there and I almost forgot about this camera that it was on over here. Very wow. This whole periscope thing is just crazy. You just turn the video camera on and there were 20 people, 20 people that tuned in. Absolutely nuts. How do they know? Where do they come from? I don't really know how this works all that much. I can tell you. But 20 people are watching just as soon as you start doing something live. That's crazy. Unbelievable technology. Break time. How you guys doing so far? Good. Good it's now. It's partly cloudy up here and I thought it was going to be yucky, but it's still, it's still nice. Yeah, like it's warmer than it is at home. Look where we're at. I mean, this is just absolutely incredible. And that periscope was really cool. I mean, we got like two alohas, one hola, and like one hi. <laughs> that was crazy. We are real close to where we went swimming and Matt lost his iPod now. We're getting close. This water just looks so nice. Look at the clarity of it. It is just so clear and clean looking. Well, here we are at our swimming hole and the water is just as full, I believe. He didn't lose it in there. He lost it down there past the swimming hole. So this is the little cascade that went into our swimming hole and we'll have to show you maybe a three months ago shot and what it is now to see the difference on how much water flows here. I think it's down quite a bit, the water flow, flow but the pool's not going to empty out, but the fish look bigger. Okay, so this is the spot where he lost it, where he first let go of it at the little dam here. So we're going to start looking through here. Not sure how cold the water is, but I'm sure it's pretty cold. So we're going to start looking a little bit here. That's a good start. Yes, yeah, good thing I have my swimming trunks on. Yes. You guys are not gonna believe it. We found it. That is awesome. I, came, I just came right back here because I wanted to see if, just in case, right where it came off, where he lost it, in case it just sank right down. Because it did. And so I looked out of the water and it, I saw this thing that looked like here, let me see the camera a second. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I saw it in the water like that. I'm like, I think I found it. Sure enough. Oh, wow, look, what do you think about that, dude? Is that rust on it? There's literally, I think it's rust on it. No, it's, it's mold. So and don't do anything don't. with it. We got to take the case off and then we've got to put it in rice and see if yeah. it dries it out but wait did you think we'd find it i didn't i thought you were just kidding <laughs> another god-sized miracle with matt's ipod unbelievable three and a half months three and a half months and it stayed right just about where he lost it and here it is three and a half months that later is exactly where i lost it we found it it just dropped straight down in the water and was just sitting there. This is where Matt was, right here next to our swimming hole. Right here. And he was getting a shot in the water right there. Good job, buddy. And he lost it off of his um, phone mount that he uses. And it just ended up right there. Right at that rock right there unbelievable that is just awesome that we found it so quick right at the beginning we didn't have to spend all day trying to search for it dude we <laughs> got your ipod that is so high awesome. five let me know you're live Wait, I'm not sure well actually the ipod's still alive 
Give me a high five. Let me know you're alive, iPod. I just thought. In the name of Jesus. Be yeah, we, we need to um send it to send a life proof like a thing like what make like a video just about the iPod or something and the whole story of it and like send it to life proof in an email or something. You really, really didn't want to come back here, did you? No. Tell us about it. So I didn't really want to come back and um, I thought I would be an idiot too because I did not think we were going to find it, but done, done, So dun. now you found it. That's pretty cool. We found it. Praise the Lord. We asked God to help us find it and we found it. And this morning he told me that it was going to be along the side and in a hole is what he told me. And it wasn't going to be too far from where Who you told dropped you? it. God did. Oh. Even if it doesn't work, at least it's... Um, Nobody else the, will. There's closure to the story. It's not like, oh, I wonder if it's still there and it might work and it could work, it might not work, but we just don't know. But now, we're going to know for sure. Either it's going to work or it's not. Slime if it does all. work, bonus. If not, awesome. you were going to buy another one anyway because th you thought it was gone, right? Yeah. We did a lot of praying over it before we came out here and boom there it is Woo. <laughs> <laughs> it's where i fell that was right where it was at so i don't know maybe god had me fall to kind of get me hey it's right there Is this a good day at school or what? Yeah! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Not too bad, huh? Yeah, I got my iPod. Nice, nice school house, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty scenic. And for school today, you got to see God do a miracle with his iPod. Not a bad day. We're praying for one more miracle. We found it. Woohoo! Awesome and amazing that for three months no one else found it. Um, and so we're hoping that just like Jesus was raised after three days, we're praying that after three months God will raise the iPod back to life. We'll see what happens. <laughs> it was lost, but now it's found. Now we just need to raise them dead we bones. We need it to be blind, and now it can see. Man, I love it out here. It is so awesome. Beautiful. God's creation. Just absolutely amazing. Alright guys, I think we're going to sign out here unless we see something cool on the rest of the way back. But thanks for hanging out with us. That was awesome that we found that iPod. That's incredible. We found an iPod that's been underwater for three months. Three months. We found an iPod. Okay. Just kidding. So, anyway, and we may throw on a clip at the end of our kit cats kits cats <laughs> kit cats our cats at the end i like kit cats since uh they're tasty show you guys how they did while we were gone because i know a lot of you guys that watch this like seeing the cats our six cats crazy cats we have to teach them how to come out here with us <laughs> so we don't, they can go to the bathroom out here instead on the floor if the boxes get full i so Oreo would definitely, I think she would do well. But the rest of our cats, I don't know. They might freak out. But anyway, thanks for going on this hike with us, guys. <laughs> we appreciate that. We'll see you on the next video. God bless you, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>
So we got a good report on you guys, little Skittle. No messes. You guys were good. Awesome. Cleaning up mom's mess. <laughs> yeah, they're cleaning up mom's mess. Spilled the uh, cat food here. Mom. Polar bear, you guys were good. Good job, buddy. And Leamy, you were good. And Oreo, there's Oreo over there. Hi, Oreo. You were good. Good kitty. Who else do we have? Oh, there's Blackie. Blackie's trying to put on the flip-flop. She loves flip-flops. <laughs>